we're going to be brewing a damson porter um hopefully this will be ready just before christmas um i'm really excited to do this because i'm using the damsons from my mum's orchard back in nottingham i'm also completely winging it as usual um i've got a load of dark malts left over so i'm just doing a mixture of iris otter as my base malt and then a few different specialty malts like chocolate malt caramel crystal malt he's getting golding as my hops yeah, I'm just gonna throw it all together and see what we get. Let's get going. So to start with, we're just gonna fill up with 24 liters. While that's heating, I'm just going to weigh out the grains. I'm going to start off with 6 kg of pale malt. Um, I'm using Marisotta. Rolled oats. Got some caramel crystal malt. What else we got? We got some pale chocolate malt, but the color on this, I want it to be more like a a nice brown rather than like too dark. Um, so I'm pretty sure I've just made it so I can never recreate this recipe, but that's kind of fun. Um, although if it turns out not, but that'll be fun. Wondered why it was taking so long to heat up. Um, I left it on. I left the switch on the mash setting rather than on normal, so it only got up to 21 degrees, which I swear is colder than what the actual what came out at. And now it's on 31, so gotta wait for that. And I've already sorted out my sponge water, so now we wait. So the water is now heated to 70. So we're ready to add the grains, finally. Probably gonna have a little bit of a stuck mash, but I think it'll be okay. I put rice holes in there, so you know. Well, that's good. And of course, recirculation has time. There we go. Um, and that's gonna be mashing for an hour. Because I've used that gauze again over the um, drainage outlet, it's made it so foamy. Shout is done. And we can start to sparge. Well, we need to let it drain first. Shit, no. That was heavy. Um, so I'm just gonna give that 
however long that needs to drain off. Probably be half a fucking hour because everything seems to be taking ages today. Um, no. Um, so for sparge, we are doing 15 litres. asked me like non-brewer viewers non-brewer friends asked me before um like what's the purpose of sparge and the purpose of sparge is just rinsing your mash grains um to maximize the sugars from the mash process but without extracting any of the tannins so it's just getting the last bit of sugar um that's kind of left still in the grains yeah, yeah. I'm in the wrong profession, I think. Right, I think sparge is pretty much done. I'm gonna take this off right now. Oh, it's a good color. It's like a nice dark brown, which is what I wanted. Sparge is done, and now we just need that to heat to 100 degrees oh. yeah uh, it's 50 minutes left of the boil so i'm just going to add a prosoflock tablet i'm just adding in the second hot position for the last 10 minutes so the ball is just finished, I'm just going to cool down now. Um, so now I just need to cool this down between 15 and 20, so I'm going to put it around 17 and then see how long I can be bothered to wait. While that's still cooling, I'm so confused what I'm doing. It's not even that confusing, I'm just filming two separate videos at the same time because I'm doing my tasting video, which you should have already seen because that one should already be up. Oh, time travel is difficult. But yeah, I'm gonna see the start gravity on this bad boy. I think it's 1062. Yeah. 1062. So that's that's great. That's on pretty much oh and if you're watching this video and getting confused as to these different references i'm making then go and check out my tasting video for all my other beers because i did a whole tasting session of all four of these in one session and yes i drank all of each of them so go and check that out it's well worth it um, so that is all cooled down now. It's on 22. I need to transfer it into my Epi. Just got sanitizer in here. Just gonna splash it around. Make sure the tap is off because we need our night. It's taking fucking ages to fill up. Oh, that literally took so long to fill up. Um, there's loads of left in there, but it's just coming out really slow. Um, but we're on 25 litres in there. So, um, yeast I'm using is Fermentis Safe Ale SO4. Um, I'm just using one packet. I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. add 
my airlock and just gonna let that ferment and then we'll come back um, once that's done like in primary fermentation we'll come back and then siphon that on to the damsons and then go into secondary fermentation but yeah we'll come back then see you later so the porter has been fermenting for about a week now um so we're just gonna get on um take a gravity reading and add the lovely damsons Um, so it's dropped to 1020, um, which is pretty good. Um, so we've got the lovely damsons here. Uh, they've just been in the freezer, so no bacteria will be on there. And, um, and I've frozen them, thawed them out, frozen them out, frozen them, thawed them out, just to so, like mush them up. So we get better distribution in secondary. I don't actually know how much I've got here because this was just all the damsons that my mum had left. Um, which is really exciting. We've got 783 grams, which is... One pound 11, one pound 11.7 ounces. Learning from my mistakes from the kettle sour when I had to waste loads because there was too many peach bits. I've got a nice bag here. I'm just gonna dump all this in it. Wow. Such a beautiful colour. And what we can do. Got a really big bag just because um and it has plenty of space to move around and it would be too compact. To eyes, they shone like the diamond. So I've got the second day bucket all sanitized. Pop this in the bottom. When I rack it over, I'm also just gonna use a sanitized strainer as well just because but what I'm gonna do is like hold it at the bottom and then bring it up so we don't get any oxygen in there or as little as possible. It's so nice to have no builder sounds today. Good morning, guys. Today it is bottling day. Um, start gravity was 10.62, final gravity 10.14, 10.15. So we're looking at an ABV around 6.1, 6.2, probably more towards 6.2. Um, I'm so glad I can finally bottle this. It's been ages. Obviously, I did did the fruit edition, but then, and then I didn't have any bowls, so I had to order some of those in, it took ages, and I'm a final year uni student during the pandemic. There's a lot of stress going on, but I'm here today. So let's get sanitizing some bowls, making some primer sugar, all the fun stuff. So, to make the primary sugar now, um, I have about how much of it? 20. Well, once I've transferred it, I have about 21 litres. Um, um, I've got uh, a little bit of. I've got about 21 litres to a bottle. Um, and for a stout or porter, on around. 1.7, 2.3 volumes of CO2. Um, there's already about 0.94 volumes of CO2 in there, just under about one. So corn sugar that we'll be using, I want about 97.3, I think. I forgot it already. Ah. Oh. 
97.4, that was one off. And of course we are using Dextro's. This is from Getta Brood. And no, I'm not sponsored by Getta Brood. You'd think that though, but maybe if you can let them know to sponsor me, that would be great. Yeah, give a thumbs up if you think Getta Brood should, um, should sponsor me. In that goes. Right, so we're gonna add uh, this amount of water. That'll do. And we're going to get some flameage and bring that to the boil and let that bubble and whatnot for about five minuettos. And then, oh, I love sanitizing on the bottom. How many bottles do we think we'll get out of it? If we've got like 21 litres, each bottle is 330 ml. So that's 21,000 divided by 330 is 60. I just checked and it was 63.63 something recurring, so I wasn't that far off. But it probably will be around 60 because I probably accidentally spilled something or something or something or nothing. Now, as you can see, we just have a nice a booble, a booble. Yeah, so I mean, that's fine now. I'm gonna take that off and let that cool. ready for bottling. This is cooled down a bit, so we're just going to get it and add. These have just been soaking in sanitizer. about is the fact that I've got a new bottle capper because my other red plastic one was doing my freaking head in. Oh, she gone? Industrial. Um, but I've also, I also ordered some um, G clamps so I could clamp it onto the table because there are holes for you to screw it onto the table but I didn't think my flatmates would be too thrilled about that. Yeah. Hungry already. Look at it go. Stouts and porters make such a mess though. I feel. More so than bring up the beers. Oh, it's so sticky. Uh, uh, uh. 
before lunchtime, which is great. Um, got 65 bottles in total, which is not too shabby. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and also go follow my Instagram page. It's just at Lunam Ignis Brew. Um, yeah, peace out. Drink a bit. Bye-bye now.